just uh, trying to give a bit more information around the um, uh, disconnecting the shunt for the, uh, the battery on the Y62. I know some of you might have dual batteries and I know this has been brought up before. Um, people have talked about the red wire snip, um, but uh, there's probably an easier way. Um, I know people have unplugged the plug um, from the shunt as well, which has also helped. Um, but um, there's a couple of extra little things that sort of I found when I was looking at doing something like that. So um, yeah, look, I just thought I'd show you uh, how and uh, whether or not that was help to you. So look, one of the uh, one of the things is uh, when you disconnect the battery, sometimes it mucks up ECUs and things like that. So um, uh, and because you're disconnecting the negative, it'll still disconnect the, the system or the battery from the system. So I've got a couple of uh, just one little lead here that um, I'm just going to uh, hook onto the negative terminal of the battery and just ground on the body. That way, when I disconnect the negative on the battery, uh, we won't have any any dramas or having to reset anything like that. So um, I'll just go ahead and do that. So um, yeah, that's done. I don't know if you saw that, but um, I've got the, the Red Arc, uh, I think it's the SB12, you know, dual battery controller, and um, I've just grounded on that, and uh, that's what I'm using to um, uh, for my dual battery controller. So um, the next thing is um, uh, to remove the, um, I suppose you could say the negative terminal's got two parts to it, and you can actually remove one of the parts where the shunt's connected, um, which gives you that ability to um, disconnect the, the smart alternator charging. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So I've just got myself a, a, a spanner here, and um, I'm just gonna to loosen the nut. Now I've actually um, uh, grounded the, the battery over here, and uh, you can see, hopefully we can see anyway, I'll just take that off. There's my uh, negative terminal for the winch cable, so I put that out of the way. Uh, that's the brake controller wire, so I'll take that off. And um, you can see now you've got you've got the uh, now the battery's completely disconnected. But up the back here, you can actually see this, there's actually two parts to it. So potentially, you know, what you can do is you can just pull out. I suppose you could say the the shunt part, which is, which is this part here, and. You know, if you actually just put that back on, right, and just bolt it back up, and here's your here's your wire and your plug hanging off the back of it. You can just unplug that if you like, um, or to keep the plug clean, you can just leave it all plugged in, and then just tuck it off to the side. You know, put your negative terminal back on, put my brake controller back on, put my winch cable back on, put my nut back on. And, and effectively we've just disconnected the, the smart alternator. Yeah, we'll tidy this up a bit now, um, later on. Um, you could unplug the plug, put a bit of plastic bag over it, um, and, uh, and seal it up like that. But you know, that, that's like a 30 second job.